As the climate web has increased in complexity, we've struggled with how to provide the easiest access to the thousands of topical nooks and crannies hidden in the climate web. We've increasingly realized that the index feature we've built into the climate web is the most effective way to do that, and we've radically expanded the scope of the index. And you can always get to the index just at the top of your screen by clicking on the index thought. Bear in mind that we are constantly adding to the index, which is up to about 2,000 entries at this point, and constantly adding materials to existing index entries. So it literally changes and becomes more useful day by day. Note too that one of the most valuable things we think the Climate Web Index can do is to help point you to related ideas and topics you might not have thought to look for. That's why individual index entries may be linked to several other index entries. Um, and I'd encourage you to play with the index a bit. It's a unique way to explore climate change topics and issues. As you can see, you can access the index through two different branches. All of the index entries are accessible through either branch. It's just two very different ways of finding them. The alphabetical organization is straightforward, and you can click through it in any way uh, you want. As you can see, all the index entries are preceded by an I colon, and there are no spaces in the words. It makes it easier to search for specific index entries, and all the index entries have the same sort of light yellow coloring. The index is organized vertically, and so, you know, here was the beginning point, here's a B. The fact that there's a little green circle there means there's more under it. Um, and so everything going up and down in the index is, is purely index material, not substantive uh, material. It makes it very easy to explore the index without getting lost in the other materials in the climate web. Now let me back out of this, come in through the other index approach via the topical pathways. You can follow a series of topical headings into the index that you can see here, and we phrase the headings to try and make it easy to identify what index path you want to go down. In some cases, you can follow the index more than 10 layers uh, down, and again, it's very easy because it's all purely index as you go up and down. I'm going to search for a sample index entry to show you some of the different colors. So for this sample index entry, under which is under S, you can see that there are a number of different kinds of materials. And this is where you jump to specific spots in the climate web. And this, this isn't a particular topic. We've just grouped a bunch of things together uh, to help make an example of, of, of what you will find when you uh, click on some of these different thoughts. So for example, A thoughts refer to arguments and link to supporting information. If I click on that, this it, it will it'll take you to other information. To return, you'll see that the sample index entry is organized as a jump from, it's always there as uh, a jump. It doesn't disappear the way tags do because it's a, it's a real thought. Now, S stands for sources, organizes documents, uh, books, journal articles, etc. N stands for news stories and it organizes those news stories uh, chronologically, in this case for Exxon and climate change. Q stands for question and answers. Click on that, it'll take you down to a series of questions and answers, This, in this case relating to the social cost of carbon. T stands for network, and this is basically pointing you to relevant uh, website resources, in this case, uh, open access training courses relating to climate change. The pink thoughts relate to multimedia, and so uh, it might be V, which is uh, videos, it might be infographics, I, so in this case, you find infographics specifically relating to sea level rise. 
It might be uh, individual graphics, for example, carbon offsets, where we've collected all sorts of graphics relating specifically to the topic of carbon offsets. And this can be useful for a variety of different reasons. Bright green thoughts refers to the idea of climate chess, and you can explore sort of the moves and the pieces that are available uh, when it comes to playing climate chess, which is something we want to help people explore more with the climate web. Bright yellow thoughts indicate deep dives, and all deep dives are organized in the same way. And so this is the basic organization, using, which uses, again, exactly the same color frames that we've been um, talking about. So there are a whole series of things, and, and you'll get used to the colors uh, very quickly. In the case of dates slash months, what we're talking about there is uh, news stories and blogs, and the URL for that will be at the bottom of your screen. You, you can't click on it to go to the URL. You have to go to the bottom of your screen to click on the URL. And, and if there is a PDF of a report, that's where you would actually get the PDF and click on the PDF once, and it will download. Uh, in other cases, um, just having the date and the last name of the author means that you're looking at a book or a journal article. And in some cases, we've, we've extracted sort of a few key pieces of information. Uh, in order to link around the climate web and make that information available to people looking for different kinds of information in the climate web. So if you're if you are seeing just a single thought like this, it might be a book, it might be a video. Uh, if you click on the video, you'll see the video at the bottom of your screen and you can play it uh, there if you wish, in this case, the carbon trading. Uh, video and we have a couple thousand videos in the climate web and they'll pop up when you uh, click on the relevant thought You may see thoughts that don't have any dates that don't have any color uh, Those are basically sort of individual examples of graphics or ideas that we might have pulled out that are relevant to that index entry and Because everything is linked together if you click on that thought it'll take you back to the original source and you can see whether we pulled out any other material from that source often pulling out some of the key graphics etc and from here to get back to where we were you can simply bat use your backspace key to return to the sample index entry the bottom line is that within with the index you can access thousands of topical headings spread around the climate web and even tens of thousands of individual ideas and graphics it's an immense resource for exploring climate change, whether as a problem or, th or through a solutions lens or through the lens of a specific audience. And remember that our climate web doorways make it easy for you to jump right to the parts of the climate web that are most relevant to you without having to repeatedly work your way through the index. In closing, I'll note that there are several climate web resources always available to you at the top of the screen. You can hover over these uh, the search to get search pointers over the help, to get help pointers, clicking on the index, as we've already seen, takes you to this index. Or you can click on the home button to take you to the front door of the climate web. Thanks.